Hi, welcome. Let's do a tarot reading for Virgo. The first week of January 2024 is next week. So, Happy New Year's to you. Let's call on compatibility in love. Love, love, love. Past, present, future. What doors are opening? What doors are closing? Please. Give us your almighty message from your spirit. For Virgo. As a collective, we've just come out of the holidays. There's a lot of sentiment. Making an impression on people. People making impressions on us. I know, you know, some of us have been playing Santa Claus. Seven of Swords. Power in reverse. The high priestess in reverse. This is when somebody acts the fool. We play as if everything's okay. This is playing Santa Claus. Absolutely. All right, let's just get the cards out on the table, please. This is also avoiding disaster by playing the fool. But I think, I think the vibe is about, it's like believing in Santa Claus. Because we believe so much, they believe so much in you. Somebody believes so much in you, you believe, oh, so much in them. Somebody here is struggling to make, to lock this down. So we're single. It's like, we got going to just try to trick somebody into believing that we're soulmates. Look at that. The Ten of Pentacles doors. It's going to be opening is going to be a door to a disaster. This is not a good door opening because the door closing is all that fun and celebration. Christmas is over. I mean, look at them, though. This is celebrating Christmas. This is believing in Santa Claus. So, again, I think you've done and you do a lot for your loved ones. They do believe a lot in you. And currently... You don't want to lose, or whoever's in this situation, we wouldn't want to lose that. We don't want Christmas to end. We don't want to lose our lover and love. Someone, like, believe in whether this is real or not. They'd be, okay, so it's like, is this real? Is this real? Are you for real? Our efforts, somebody's efforts here are messed up and they know it. It's like, this is wrong, but to like trick somebody into a, a marriage. Somebody looking at this like, oh, we celebrate in and you did too much. Somebody is starting to notice if you are already married. Um, they're like, stop wasting your time. These types of attitudes come in where they're like, oh, you did too much. Turns into, you're doing too much. And so Spirit says, uh, it, it's like, okay, so we're just trying to uh, maximize our potentials, uh, tricking others into love. And for our own benefit, it's a no-no. And it is so risky. Um, has it even dawned on them? It hasn't even dawned on us. And then I just hear why, why, why. So in these situations, and uh, according to the moon phase, it's like question would be 
Why aren't they ready to do this yet? Taking a big risk or not. Be careful about getting engaged, especially this New Year's. So, is this someone asking somebody to marry him on New Year's and they say no? And then we ask, why aren't they ready to do this yet? So maybe they kind of figured this out already. Or we did that and now we stuck in this. Because you're asking, there's a negative here on the table. I'm just going to say it. As much as Virgo believes in love or they, how much they actually are in love with you, this is a trap. This is a trap. Let's see. I'm sorry. But either way, damn. Either way. This is a trap. This is when people get trapped. This is this is a marriage that's on the rocks. And while someone, there is no chance of surviving this marriage trap. If you dig. So, it's a no-no. And it never turns out good. So, depending on which side this is. It's not. It is out of control. The, it is out of this person's control. We are out of control. If we're going to go doing that kind of stuff. And I'll tell you why I'm on your side. Even though, uh, like with the beginning of the year, everybody says, oh, it's time to try it on New Year's Eve. No, it's not. If you, I don't know what, everybody's got New Year's. It's holidays. It's the nostalgia of it all. But it's like, according to the moon phases, it's not time to try anything new. Not even by Wednesday, the 3rd of January. You need to wait a week. We need to plan. We need to pre prepare. It's give us all out of control. Love. It's patient love. Will, it's kind. Love will wait. If it's so patient, then it can wait a week. If you want to follow and do it, doing things that we need to do, do it at the right time. Let me find out on someone as well. So, uh, it's about keeping your dignity while you're going through this with grace. Time heals all. Time heals all. Over time... So this, okay, it'll come back to buy it. Even, it always comes around if people try to trick others into marriage. Uh, they are uh, the magicians. I'm struggling. No, they're the magicians. So it's the the pelican. And the shapeshifters. So thus they the magicians and the shapeshifters and the when the wa when uh the water runs dry on this it needs confronting. But it's more about confronting oneself here, y'all. Yeah. We all want love. You know, we all want to be liked. And this is Virgo taking on this character. Try to see it from the other person's side. They will think you are a loser if you try to trick them into it. And you would lose anyways. Because when the waters recede and the tide, because we're following the moon phases... Y'all need to rethink this plan if you have time and if you haven't yet. Uh, period. Because this major event, if you end this, ever go through this, this is what happens when we make these impressions on people. We take big risks and need to be very careful about getting engaged, especially on New Year's Eve. There's that nostalgia around believing that we're soulmates. It's like when we believe in Santa Claus. And eventually children discover that Santa Claus isn't real. You see what I'm saying? 
So whichever side of the coin you're on here, if you're struggling to act on it though, the pelican represents a, a boot camp when it comes into, so it's like you have the time, uh, the new moon isn't until the second week of January, so you don't have to do anything in the physical world. Don't make any new moves or try anything new, but yet are t better time to prepare and plan and structure this and how to gain control. It represents uh, a coldness, a rigidiness. Spiritual message is is that that uh, it, what did it say? Stop. I hear someone say, "Maximize your potential to your own benefit." Well, if you already try and do that, well then let's let's maximize this to our own potential and to our own benefit. You have time. Prepare the plans. Put that shit on ice. There may be need to be confront your inner self so that you can do what you need to do here. If you're stuck in the marriage, if you're the one sticking somebody up in it, doesn't matter. Point in case is it needs to be confronted. It's going to be confronted. Somebody going to confront this. Call you out that Santa Claus ain't real. It could just be that, just the kids. So hopefully so. Please let me know. But if you are being controlling about something that requires a lightness and this is all but kill him with kindness kill him with your kindness when the waters dry up and we've been exposed they're going to kill you with kindness killing people with kindness when we're trapped in a marriage we feel trapped in a marriage and they tricked us into it with kindness kill him with kindness um eventually we find out. They find out, you find out. This is just how these things happen. Okay? Naturally. I'm sorry if you're going through this. This new year, just again, whatever you're doing, even on those regular New Year's resolutions, everybody just, you know, that's why people fail their New Year's resolutions is because they, they oh, I didn't, you know, I wasn't able to do it right away. You don't have to do it right away. Follow the moon phases. Whatever it is you to benefit your love life to benefit your life to utilize this to your potential you can take more time in how you make the impressions on those people how they make impressions on you and the outcome of that marriage because you're dealing with while well, you're dealing with shapeshifter uh you being the shapeshifter this is really a lot about somebody taking on that character we need to work this out, I hear. So that's going to be your vibe, and you, we just need to confront it. But it's more about confronting yourself here because you can't control what other people do. You can only do you. You know, look on the bright side because we all want love and we all want to be liked. Try to see it from the other person's side and point of view. Even if you think they the loser. Or you beat them, you may be thinking that you're a loser. So this is tough. This is crazy. This is real life stuff. So I can't wait to see what happens when we get to do the next reading and unveil the secrets of love where this was your love reading. Again, for the first week, I will see you for the new moon. So you want to check that reading too. But go ahead and check out the uh, Virgo, you are Earth. So check out the Earth Elemental mysteries of love reading that I already did in your all signs for the first the new beginning of 24 and check back it's risky it's a no-no wow if you're struggling take that time y'all just take that time and no matter what it is you're gonna come out with a better plan and be able to actually take a step and do it in the physical world better the second week of January. All right. Thank you. This is Tara Love. Like my video. Subscribe if you want to be a member. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for your view. Bye-bye.